Historically, timber companies have gone to communities and have benefited through various forms. Companies have had to provide some kind of benefit to the communities. In 1998, government made it mandatory for companies to provide 5% of their stampage of total volume of timber which is removed from the community. That is provided to the community in the form of development project so that it, it's no longer at the discretion of companies to decide whether they want to give and what they want to give. Whereas in the past it was sort of voluntary, this time it has become mandatory. The project is receiving funding from UK Aid under their Forest Governance Market and Climate Program. FGMC project is about building capacities of small and medium forest enterprises in Ghana and Liberia to trade in legal timber. This project gets started in July 2018, which will be ending in March 2021. We have implemented project partners in Ghana and Liberia. In Ghana, we have Nature and Development Foundation, NDF, and Kumasi Wood Clusters. KWC. And in Liberia, we have Liberia Timber Association, that's LEPTA, and Liberia Chainsaw Timber and Dealers Union, Lexadon. The forests of Ghana are owned by the communities, and government is responsible for sustainable management of the resource. We realize that the forest fringe communities were not getting any direct benefit from the timber harvesting. We have what we call stumpage. That is the money timber contractors pay for the exploitation of the timber. The stumpage is shared with nothing going to the communities who live close to these forests. There were agitations for many of those communities whenever timber exploitation took place. Sometimes they would block roads, hijack the contractor to pay huge amounts of money before they could work. So in order to rationalize the whole environment, we decided to enact a law which will formally offer benefits to these forest fringe communities. SRA is Social Responsibility Agreement. It's a concept that the Forestry Commission came up with, and that was designed to help communities where the forest reserves are located. If we are a bank forester or moon, Yes, I idea. Uh, to be 20 years, we be able to be able idea, and to be able to be For example, if I go to a particular area, right now I'm at a Sina Palm Forest Reserve, I have to sign a social responsibility agreement with the community. And that means I am going to give them a certain amount of money. The SRA is different from royalties. Reason backing the SRA is that most of the times these royalties, by the time they even get to the communities, time is far elapsed. Ordinary community member rarely sees the importance of the forest in their community. But the purpose of the SRA is to let the community members have a feel of the importance the forest in their community is bringing to them. So the SRA is supposed to be used for something that every member of the community can benefit from. This concept was piloted in 1998, which was legally accepted in 2004. Since SRA implementation became uh, mandatory, different companies, perhaps due to different understanding of how it should work, have implemented it their own way. So there were some challenges. One of the criteria is that community should be within five kilometer radius of the area of operation. You have forests that stretch 20, 30 kilometers. What is five kilometers? So its implementation became a bit of a challenge. You have companies going to certain communities and they say, well, we've already signed a, an agreement with this community and therefore you, this community, don't deserve anything. So we've had to engage companies to do it right. So this project has sort of reintroduced the companies to the concept we have laid out the tenets of what a good social responsibility agreement is. One of the things we've done is to create awareness among them and train them on awareness of their rights and responsibilities as communities, awareness of the rights and responsibilities of other forest stakeholders like timber companies, like the law enforcers such as Forestry Commission their roles and responsibilities in the SRA implementation. What they do is to sponsor and build capacity, especially of forest range communities, and sometimes even our own staff who are not adequately knowledgeable in SRA. We took it upon ourselves as part of the project implementation 
to coaching the companies how to properly implement SRS and not just go to the community, pay money to somebody that cannot be accounted for. KWC and NDF, KWC if you take the SRA document, we have the code of conduct and then we have the social responsibility aspect. The code of conduct stipulates relationship between the contractor and the communities in the contractor's workings. The contractor may not work on taboo days. The contractor is supposed to employ a certain number of the local people as staff. The social obligations is the 5% aspect. So in addition to the payment of the money, the contractor must respect the people and forge close relationships with the communities. Before a permit holder can start actual operation, the permit holder must have completed the signing of the SRA and probably the implementation of it. Forestry will calculate the 5%. So for example, if it comes to 4,000, I'm supposed to come up with that 4,000 before I even start operation. So I have to go back to the Forestry Commission with that signed agreement with my receipt to prove that I have actually paid. Whether you, the communities are aware or not, the timber companies have to fulfill the SRA and the evidence must be available within the Ghana Wood Tracking System. Otherwise, the Ghana Wood Tracking System will raise red flags that this company has not fulfilled. And when the red flags are raised, it means that you cannot get a flag license for your timber that you have harvested. We have now gone ahead to establish what we call local SRA committees. We've gone ahead to stipulate that there should be opening of bank accounts for the lodgement of the money. There should be a work plan governing the use of the money. There should be proper monitoring. We should be reported on by especially the Forestry Commission. And then we've also gone ahead to ensure that enough awareness is created. So since we institutionalized these measures, there has been tremendous improvement in SRA implementation. Yes, I need to be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. a rap company. The buyer, no, I'm on my own. I say, say. Today, I'm phone. I'm afraid to be a sebano. And I'm so many people beating. Today, I'm on my. Today, I'm busy. I'm calling. No, I'm on my own. I'm school. Today, I say, you'll be sick. Baby, I'm teaching phone. Oh, but now, no one here call. I'm on my own. Today, I'm on my physical cash. You share the be a senior to talk. Good materials in my own. SRN, Michel Asiano, my year twice, Goja Bridge, Mikohoko, yeah, a Juma, and a mom, and a recent issue in the year weighing center, our in Yanunguasi, a mom. Yajina, Goja Bridge. Bridge, can you have a name called to me at the Enco School? Can you know, can you do Sassy's in Sakrana in Timmy Melfu? If you say, but do her name soon, a year, I will be anti Minko Emma, send our community and over soon, you will be out if ye, and I'm so Omobe and soon Tifano. Ema umu kwa aso mae, kaa ati mibe faye ni ema, ede ko ema ya hon haa ebi. Mi yuko woyi ya, na mi kone mimi. Na nyame aya ya adomu, atu abu nsemu. Na abu nsiso baba jia wa haa. Ka ata ame ya nko baba ya biyo. Ama, ya mbana nafuo, ya bejiji wa maa, ya bejiji wa mua haa. Se si ya biya nanka mi kwa naka isi kakura ya mi dene. Abu, abe chukia, ajeme. Mi no mu shiyai, ya ya wa sama infante, ele ya honu. Owe jasa omu peka kwanyi. Na, e kwanyi ni ya honu. The first, you know, say, you take a quarter, you define a swing, you go away, you go, then you shine a cup of tea. Now, me and Boa, we go to the nearby bar, we buy an ice cream, we buy a swing. Then I am a Jewa Timbers. In fact, we are buying the brain. If we are some a coffee and tea, now a coin da ho. Now me and Dum, we are going to pay a bit of money. Now we go amay. If you feel don't go cream, we go be sitting there and swear. We are going to be here for a while. Now so the amay. If we are buying. Omano bread and plastic chairs, makuma aku edunu. Ah, yadi ye omano impun tujuma. Ekwano, ifaswa yadi abre wamo nse sisi ano omo swa koko infa encrosso river plan view. Isa de kia ne kaz ne bibliko ne wamo deba. First ona se open for koko wa yadi tu shiba rim na omo chini ba. Ena de ekwano bade ano sa njomo ni nasa yadi echa. I have so far signed this SRA with four communities. And all these communities are within the Achim Oda Forestry District. In Sota, Ka into me Eden Mbaha. Jambani Kwa Ko, Ibiya Umbeka Echri, 
Inti anu inti ya si hiya se se si ka omu dea buwa ya di bi e ye breji no. Falcon Ridge SRA or the Bray, a bit of roofing sheets, a decobo, a money mema, a jana biasu. Now, the background, ye gusua, ye cast concrete, na ye vi, and this cacrona beans, ye had a bit of cement, no toa, to median so, na a moment ye vi, a cacacra, and say ye to me. If you are one, ever crumble, not pipe, or move you soon, crumble. In your assay, it's ye, yes, I renied the mamma, and on the air pipe on my community in Yansu. Yes, I import facts on five per cent, no better, I'm saying, it's me a man of brosa, I'm saying, community in a dear one dancer. Committing here, Bibia, and yet, yes, I renew, go crash out to me, boom, look as on quite benefited the open. My two swore, one more, and none can't sell the crown, my two more, and made Diana, Mrs. You, made a Danama, hospital for us, your motive. In 2017, our records we collected from the FSD shows that about 299 communities received almost uh, 790,000 Ghana CDs as, as SRA. And it's been impressive for some communities. They have shown us evidence of what they've used those monies for in terms of projects. And those that have not shown any evidence of what they've done with the money are beginning to realize that the money is not for those who are collecting as individuals. And then they become palpable and you have to hold them responsible as to what they've done with the money. How are you going to say that you are going so 300 now, we are going to be 50. A papa is a pico. But when you are kind, you are going to calculate your car. You see, you are going to be 5%. You are going to be a little community. You are going to be a little bit. You are going to be a little bit. You are going to be a little bit. I said, you are against the contractor. Yes, I am going to say that you can't say that you are going to be a little bit. Yes, I am going to say that. Yes, I am going to say that. Yes, I am going to say that. The communities think that the amount that is being paid as SRN is very small for them. We have made them to be aware that every tree has its value. Where we have valuable trees like Odum, Sapele and the rest, when they come to do SRN, you see that the amount will be so high. We have always been telling them, as we protect the forest and stop illegal activities, because when they also come, they look for the better species to remove. So if we are able to protect the forest very well, and those valuable trees are there, then it will make the SRA to also go up. I have a very good working relationship with the communities. So if someone tries to enter a place where I work illegally, somebody from there will call me, and I will call the forestry people immediately for them to go and apprehend the person, because they know me, they have my phone number, and they are the ones who protect it for me. Forest, you know, and then infibe be a mugrim and I e jebu cry to ma e be sure I say ye be doom no amma into me and she yeah say yeah ma a pretas no emma me boo do an basavasa and in tibi be I be home no ye drawn attention say made ye say in a coso or no swear to an amount of a we are happy at NDF to see that our efforts are yielding results. When this year so started coming in more or less as habitats. We've seen a complete change uh, in the in the fault where engagement is now better. We no longer get uh, roadblocks as we uh, had in the past. I think it has benefited the community a lot. Community no first nanka omu haya bimpa. Esare ni ba mu ya ma omu enchechre mu mu huse mu di ya mu di. Eni esare ti mu di ya me pese entra ho na ye nyasu. Companies are complying now without having to be pushed to actually fulfill uh, SRA. And it will also interest you to know that other than SRA, development that would have taken long to reach certain communities through SRA, the communities are receiving those developments now. So SRA is actually helping the social and economic development of the local communities. The appeal I have to communities is that Yes, I mean, everybody's happy getting the money from the companies, but in the same way, it's rights and responsibilities. And therefore, whatever communities expect from companies, we expect the, the community also to provide that service which companies expect from them. I believe that if this is done, then uh, together we'll have a, a perpetual engagement uh, for the benefit of the communities, for the companies, and then for the people in general. We expect the government uh, to come in and improve the system. The illegal materials that are removed get onto the market and 
tends to underprice the material and therefore legal material become more expensive and people do not uh, want to patronize the legal material. If the assumption that government consumes a lot of timber in their developmental projects is true, then we would expect that the government would also ensure that in all its projects, legal timber are used uh, so that the demand for the illegal timber would definitely go down and therefore there will be no uh, motivation for the illegal operators also to continue plundering the resource.